If you have multiple hard drive or SSDs at your home and want to combine them into a single storage system to use as a NAS, then this video is for you. So today in this video, I will guide you step by step how to turn multiple drives into a home NAS. So without wasting much more of your time, let's get started. So at first you need to insert your SSD or hard drive to your PC. After insert, you need to right click on your start menu icon and go to disk management tool. So click on disk management. Here is my two, uh, I have connected two SSD and hard drive. As you can see, which is disk one and disk two, simply right click on your hard drive or SSD and simply delete the volume and click on yes. And it will show as a unlocated partition as you can see. So here is my disk one and disk two as you can see. After delete both the partition, uh, means for uh, drive, you need to restart your PC. Simply go to your start menu and click on restart. So after restart done, you need to right click on your start menu icon, click on settings or else you can press windows plus I to open settings window. Click on system from your left side. On your right side, click on storage. After that, you need to scroll down a little bit and click on advanced storage settings. Now click on storage spaces and after that, click on add a new storage pool option. Now you have to choose a name. You can choose any name. So you can see your both the hard drive over here or SSD. So available disk is showing over here. Now I'll choose the name home NAS server. And after that, I will select both the uh, SSD or hard drive. And after that, click on create. Now I have to choose the storage space name. Okay. So I will type over here home NAS server. Now here I'll choose the option called simple, the first option. And after that, as you can see, showing maximum pool uses and pool capacity, which is near about 1000 GB. Now click on create. And after that here, I choose the, you need to choose the level means the name you have to type. I will choose over here home dash NAS and after that type letter you can select any from here and click on format. After that it will show on your my computer go to this PC and as you can see near about one TB hard drive is created successfully. Now what I'll do is I will share this drive uh, on my network to access this drive from any computer. So what I'll do is I will right click on that drive which I have created and go to properties now I have to click on sharing first and click on advanced sharing you have to click on share this folder go to permissions select everyone and give full control to that to that drive and after that click on apply then okay after that click on security now here you just need to click on edit now click on add and type everyone over here and click on check names. So that click on OK. Everyone is selected. I will give the full control to this uh, user, everyone. And after that, click on apply, then OK, then close. And after done, you need to go to your settings window after sure. Simply right click on your start window, click on settings. Now you have to click on network and internet from your left side. On your right side, you have to click on advanced network settings. Click on advanced sharing settings. Now here you will see private, public and all network. So you need to uh, check that option which is public folder sharing. I will disable password protection over here for sharing and close the window. Now I have to check my computer IP address. So the command will be CMD and I will type IP config over here. And as you can see, here is my IP. Through this IP, I will access the drive. To access the drive from your Windows machine, simply go to your file explorer. On search box, you need to type slash slash the IP address of your machine. Or else you can go to your search window and type slash slash the IP address. After that, press enter and it will show your uh, drive. If you want to access from your Mac OS, then simply go to click on go and connect to the server. Here into type smb colon slash slash 
the IP address of your machine after that click on connect and I will select here connect as guest and click on connect. Now here I will create one folder. So I'll go to new folder type test name will be test. So on my windows machine if I'll go under my NAS or drive as you can see the test folder is showing successfully. So before ending this video, I would like to big thanks to all my channel members, a special shout out to everyone who regularly watches my videos and support the channel through membership. Your support truly means a lot. So if you want to support the channel too, then click on the join button and become a channel member to help me to making more helpful content like this. Thanks again for watching and as always, I will see you on the next one.